Hey everybody, I'm Landon. I'm a project manager with CBX. Today we're going to get on a roof and look at hail damage and normal wear and tear. There's a couple little things I'd like to point out to iterate the differences between the two. Let's take a look. So we made it on the roof. Make sure if you are getting on your roof to set your ladder up correctly, make sure you're safe. Try to stay in a valley if it's possible. Um, this roof here, it's a typical 30 year architectural. It's gonna be your standard roofing material. Um, it's a great shingle. And we're gonna point out some of the damage that the hailstones cause. Um, there's also gonna be some scarring, some other things that might look like damage from hail, but it's actually not. So let's take a look and try to figure that out. We're gonna be drawing distinctions from scarring or damage that might have occurred when the roof was originally put on compared to hail damage, which may look similar, but there's some easy distinctions to make. Uh, when you're looking at old damage from scarring, you're gonna see weathering, gray. Uh, it looks like it's been sitting like that for a while. You know, seasons have passed and there's gonna be indications that this is old damage. When there's a fresh hail strike, the bruising is going to be dark and soft and when you touch it you can have granules starting to come off um, and this is what we're looking for as well as insurance companies when they're examining a roof um, for hail damage so when you're getting on your roof make sure you're staying safe use your valleys stay in the valley um, we'd be happy to come look at it for you at cbx we like to make sure customers are taken care of uh, let us know we'll come take a look for you thanks for watching you guys if you have questions give us a call better yet just look at our website um, you can schedule your own appointment today for free uh, we'll come take a look and we'll make sure everything's square have a good day